this video is uh, on a special purpose uh, doubts eight uh, different type of uh, doubts are considered a brief outline of these doubts is given focusing on the following points for uh, each of the doubt the first is that uh, symbol of that corresponding doubt alternate name and uh, material used and the type of bias used. Number two is characterization or any special behavior and uh, the third is any special term used in the doubt and the fourth is its applications. Uh, since this presentation is going to be uh, very brief uh, uh, I would uh, I uh, like to draw your attention that uh, blog of the corresponding uh, presentation or video uh, will also have its notes uh, in case of any doubts you can uh, look into the notes of the blog. So before discussing uh, these types of doubts uh, two important phenomena are equally important and these phenomena are the Zener and the Avalanche breakdown. So first we'll start with Avalanche Zener and Avalanche breakdown and then uh, we'll talk about these eight types of doubts. One is a Zener doubt, there is a back doubt, tunnel doubt, vector doubt, point contact doubt, short key doubt, pin doubt and step recovery doubt. This we'll talk about. Now we'll start with uh, the uh, uh, reverse breakdown in doubts. What kind of reverse breakdown occurs and different type of doubts. Uh, since uh, reverse breakdown occurs uh, for the uh, reverse bias junction, so if the junction reverse bias, there is a reverse situation current which flows uh, uh, in the junction in a reverse bias and mostly this current is constant and is a very small current. If the increase further uh, reverse bias uh, there occurs uh, a breakdown and the current suddenly increases heavily. So this is what happens in the reverse uh, uh, bias uh, diodes. Uh, now we'll uh, consider the two kinds of uh, uh, breakdown uh, mechanism. One is the Zener breakdown and the other is the Avalanche breakdown. Zener breakdown uh, we can uh, see uh, since the for the Zener doubt the uh, P and N regions are very heavily doped so the corresponding uh, depletion layer here would be a very thin layer so when we apply a reverse bias and we increase the reverse bias then electric field which is generated here because this junction is very thin a large electric field would be generated here so electric field also increases and the rupture of coval covalent bonds takes place here that means whatever are the corresponding crystal ions here uh, those ions uh, get uh, uh, will have a rupture of uh, their covalent bonds and large number of carriers are generated and a large number of carriers uh, give a large current and that is a, called a Zener breakdown and uh, note that this uh, Zener breakdown is a breakdown uh, which does, does not uh, uh, spoil the doubt, does not uh, make the bad, doubt as a bad. So Zener uh, region uh, which is a breakdown region is used in uh, Zener doubts. The other uh, mechanism of uh, breakdown is the Avalanche uh, breakdown uh, mechanism here. In the Avalanche breakdown it's a normal doubt it has a, a large depletion region being indicated here. This is a P region and N region. It's a large depletion region. For this case, uh, the reverse bias uh, is increased. These uh, minority carriers will uh, attain more and more uh, energy. Further, we increase the reverse bias. Minority carriers will acquire more of uh, energy. They will have more of momentum. And because of these uh, having more momentum they collide with the crystal ions 
available here in the depletion region and this collision of crystal ions uh, uh, um, uh, generates uh, 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 generates uh, breaks the covalent bond and generates large number of carriers and these generated carriers also occur in energy or uh, more of momentum and they further uh, break other covalent bonds and uh, reverse current so suddenly increases very rapidly and this kind of breakdown is said to be an avalanche breakdown and you will notice here the avalanche breakdown is a mechanism uh, which is uh, uh, which is detrimental to the doubt okay so after knowing these two mechanisms we will try to see uh, the uh, different uh, kinds of uh, diodes which we have to see now here we try to find uh, this is first we start with the Zener diode uh, Zener diode uh, having uh, uh, this is a symbol of the Zener diode here uh, this bar here is replaced by Z here because of the Zener here and this is the node and this is cathode Zener diode is uh, heavily doped uh, uh, PNN region and this uh, doping is of uh, 1 in 10 power 5 and uh, this is the our optics and reverse, reverse breakdown region and uh, this is the characteristic of the diode forward characteristic is similar to normal diode and this is the reverse characteristic and here the Zena breakdown takes place uh, normally uh, since the doping of these uh, PN junction is uh, very large uh, this uh, reverse breakdown takes place uh, uh, very early and uh, because of that early uh, breakdown uh, normally the Zener diodes have the um, most of the Zener diodes normally use have a breakdown below 6 volts and the typical Zener resistance uh, in the breakdown region is about 10 ohms and these Zener diodes find application in the voltage regulators or the fixed uh, reference uh, voltages in different circuits. Now uh, we talk about uh, uh, the uh, back diode. It's a basically a Zener diode having a very high doping level. Do doping level of such a high that uh, breakdown voltage uh, occurs around uh, say uh, minus uh, 0.1 volts and this is a typical characteristics of a uh, back diode and this back diode uh, uh, finds uh, application for rectifying the weak signals uh, having value less than uh, 0 0.7 volts so it's a, a real variation of the uh, um, Zener diode now we'll talk about the tunnel diode the tunnel diode uh, is shown here this tunnel diode, the corresponding symbol for the tunnel diode is indicated here this is symbol for a tunnel diode and uh, in the tunnel diode the doping level is very high highest doping 1 in 10 power 3 and the material generally use gallium arsenide or germanium and it op operates in the forward bias region uh, uh, the another name to this uh, tunnel diode is the Isaki diode uh, named on the inventor who uh, uh, invented this diode. Now this uh, because of the very high doping level the narrow depletion region is very narrow for this diode and this is in nanometers and uh, this is the characteristics of uh, this diode because of a very narrow depletion region this tunneling takes place that means the carriers do not uh, climb the barrier but they tunnel through the depletion region and this tunneling uh, takes place at a very high speed that speed of light and uh, this uh, gives rise to uh, if you see the characteristic of a tunnel diode it gives rise to a negative resistance region and this value of negative resistance region is between 10 to 20 ohms 10 to 20 ohms is the negative resistance region and this application is for uh, fast switching and also you find applications as a microwave oscillator or a switch because of negative resistance it is also used as a relaxation oscillators now vector diode 
normally varicular diode, uh, the other name is also varicap or voltage variable capacitor and uh, this is a symbol of varicular diode and it's a linearly graded junction and it's made up of gallium arsenide it's operated in reverse bias and uh, this reverse bias uh, actually the capacitance of uh, reverse bias junction changes and because of this variation of the capacitance uh, this uh, diode provides uh, a um, works as a tuning diode and its a tuning range comes out between like uh, depending upon the material 4 is to 1 or 10 is to 1 and the quality factor is around 200 and it's find application in a low noise uh, micro devices like parametric amplifiers used in resonant circuits and electronic tuning and uh, automatic uh, frequency controls. Now we'll uh, talk about the point uh, another kind of doubt that is said to be a point contact doubt. It's a point contact uh, doubt. Uh, this has been the point contact diode has been the oldest uh, uh, diode and uh, this uh, the symbol for this diode is uh, indicated here this is symbol for point contact diode it's a basically a metal semiconductor diode and uh, it's operates in forward bias and uh, this is uh, has a cut it's also called as a cut whiskers diode because it provides uh, a cat whisker and the oldest uh, micro semiconductor diodes are come under this category and uh, very special feature is such a very low uh, very low junction capacitance so uh, it uh, finds certain applications as micro mixers and detectors and the uh, new diode which is uh, uh, just a modification of uh, this uh, diode is the short key diode, this also metal semiconductor diode, this uh, short key diode, this is a S symbol instead of a bar here and uh, this uh, has a barrier potential of 0.25 volts and uh, uh, has a similar characteristics of a point contact diode, it's uh, also used in uh, fast switching and detection, detection means detection of the high frequency signals like microwave signals. Now uh, we talk about uh, another very important diode that is a pin and pin diode. Pin diode finds uh, uh, this a symbol for normal uh, diode only and pin diodes. This pin diode has a uh, an I region which is of intrinsic semiconductors and uh, this pin diode works under a high level of injection and since it has a wide uh, I region it's a poor rectifier. It finds application in attenuators and uh, fast switches. Now the last diode here in this category is the step recovery diode. Step recovery diodes as the name suggests uh, the symbol is uh, given here step recovery uh, that means uh, it has an unusual doping and because of this unusual doping uh, this has some special uh, behavior like when the diode is forward bias it is in the normal uh, way but when it is reverse biased, then uh, reverse bias characteristics because of the storage charge, uh, there is snap off takes place and this spike comes and this uh, spike uh, is very rich in harmonics because uh, because of its shape, this spike is very rich in harmonics and that is why this particular doubt finds uh, the great applications in uh, frequency multipliers, especially high frequency multipliers are being fabricated using step recovery diodes. Its another short name is SRD, that's derived from step recovery diodes itself. The short name is SRD. So these have been uh, all uh, different eight diodes, although their discussion has been very brief. We can uh, look into the blog to see any detail you look uh, for it. Thank you.